the name I'm surprised hasn't come up with all the Amsa talk. Well, Fumi's kind of old school, though. Like Still. Yeah, I mean, like, we, we kind of got lost, like, you know, with the Smash documentary. They kind of highlighted, like, some of the old school players. All right, so we got Bose versus Fly Amanita. Looks like they're going right into it. No hand warmers. Fly is chasing down Fox, and as you can see, same thing we saw in the in the Fox Dittles earlier. Fox is escaping to those platforms. Cactar was making use of it. Fuzziness was making use of it. Let's see if uh, Bose can make use of it. Do you know if it's Bose or I'm guessing it's Bose because that's an E at the end. I'm right? going with Bose. That sounds better. Bose, Bose, yeah. Bose. <laughs> Fly known more for his. Amazing execution on his uh, grab combos. He's not a not a particular fan of wobbling. Uh, he likes to be more creative with his like grab and regrab combos. Like I'll chuck you to Nana. Nana chucks you back to me. Ooh, that tricky. Yep. Ice climbers have a nice little trick. Uh, if Popo throws you a, like a different direction, then he can throw you back or forward. And uh -huh. depending which way he throws you, that's where the forward smash sends you. So even though you see Nana charging a forward smash, you might not necessarily go forward. And he does it to catch your DI. It's really hard to react to. I, I'd go as far as to say impossible. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you know what the throw animation looks like, you can just keep an eye out for the throw and not worry about Nana. But it is really tricky, yeah. He gets a quick first stock uh, with that back air that wasn't DI'd by Bose. Bose. Oh, oh right. he, mess, he messes to, up the wobble. I'm about to say, as much as you say he doesn't like wobbles, it's about to go down. But the one thing I do like about Fly that I haven't seen a lot of Ice Climbers do today is he's making a little bit of use of short hop up air to control a lot yeah, of space above him. that was used so frequently, like, back in, like, 07, 08 by Ice Climber <laughs> players, and they kind of, like, just moved away from it. Uh, but great, he's, his short hop aerials have been on point. That's the second short hop back air kill already in this set, and we're only a minute and 50 seconds in. Oh, nice now smash. Nice back air. He's just making sure to keep the pressure on Fox. He doesn't want to let Fox get away. He's protecting Nana to the best of his ability. Good up air, keeping control of that avenue. There you go. That's what I was talking about. Oh, oh he wanted it. Yeah, he wanted it. He wanted the, the swag combo. Oof! No DI at Man, all. How Fox sad are you? Weird. How sad are you? Because <laughs> you, you're a big DI guy. You're just yeah, watching people yeah. flat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that's one of the very first things you learn in Tri-State. Like, uh, the, everybody in New York City is a big proponent of DI. But, you know, you, you do much more work with your stock if you live longer with that stock. Makes sense. Uh, a stock that lasts at 180 is much more valuable than a stock that ends at 60. And Fox was nowhere near death percent. He only died because he was holding that direction. I, I'm, I'm guessing Fly caught him in a dash dance. He was trying to dash away from the Ice Climbers and just got him. And... Uh, just like that, flies on the verge of four stocking boats here in their quarterfinals of their pool. Ooh. Fly, uh, uh, kind of like a fan favorite after his uh, comeback over Silent Wolf not too long ago. It even made a, an MLG's top 10 plays, uh, I want to say like two weeks ago? It was about uh, two or three weeks ago. Yeah, I don't remember the name of the tournament, but yeah, uh, Fly is so great, especially with Solo Popo, which was what made the highlight so popular. And uh, let's see what he gets here. Tries to go for another back air kill. Yeah, but he got his forward tilt jumped over by back air. And, uh, we can still get a JV. That'd be nice. So much for that idea. We can still get a three stock. That'd be nice. Bose is looking like he's struggling with this matchup. As a Fox player, you don't want to approach them with aerials because the double shield makes it hard to L cancel, and then you get shield grab. You want to just hop in with shines, jump back to a platform. Hop in with shines, jump back to a platform until you split them up. And once you split that, once you split them up, you hunt down Nana like a shark. You're like, where are you, girl? You do like what Amso was doing with Down tilt, You do that with Fox's shine. You just push her and you push her and you push her until she dies, and then you fight the 1v1 matchup. It's it's really a difficult matchup in a 2v1 situation. One strategy that I've seen a couple people use, like Cobalt specifically, a lot of ground-based foxes, is if they have a stage with a lot of room, like uh, Battlefield is big enough, a Pokemon Stadium, which we're going to, or a Dreamland, is to make good use of dash dancing out of the rank yep. and dash in with a shine. And either yep. wave dash away, wave dash back, or jump out of it. Uh, the Florida players are really good at splitting them up with throw. Like, Kobo will just grab Popo and smack him into mana uh, with a forward throw. Oof, that quick. Oh. Ooh. Fly with a little bit of a misstep there, but catch the, catches the, the jump when he was trying to kill mana. And just like that, the first stock is gone in 18 seconds into the game. 
Yeah, I feel really bad for Ghost right now. Ooh, yeah, that's just to show this. Excuse me? Oh my uh, god, that was disgusting. The <laughs> I, ooh, <laughs> oh, oh, no. oh my god. <laughs> the extended no fly I'm Anita. Okay, for those of you that don't know, the, when you first get knocked onto the ground, you can, uh, if you don't tech right away, the enemy can hit your character and force your character to stand up. Yes. And the, the standing up animation has lag, so they can punish you if they force you to stand up. Fly desync Nana, made her throw an ice at Fox, and Fox missed the tech and got reset, and then Fly just went off with that amazing combo. This is about to be one of the nastiest four stocks I've seen in many years. If if not a four stock, just, just All right, he got brutal. the kill on Nana. That's how it starts, and he gets the kill on Popo. So they're both gonna come back, but you know, this is winner, so it's not too bad. But he has to try his hardest right here. He's got a lot of work to do. Yeah. It, it doesn't seem like he's keeping track of Popo when he's trying to kill Nana. Like he just wants to kill Nana so bad that Fly is kind of just taking advantage and wrecking him. Good combo. Oh, it's another back Yep. And he caught and him running over the it. platform. Like you've been saying, he was just too eager to get in there. Yeah. Coming in with too many aerials. Thought he could slide that in. He thought wrong. Fly him in here making quick work of both, unfortunately. But he still has a chance in the loser's bracket. So he's not out of it yet. 